Good afternoon East Texas, I'm Tom Mitzoff and this is the ET Final Score Afternoon Sports Update. Well, now we know why the Cowboys have been so interested in trying to extend the contract of quarterback Tony Romo. Apart from the importance of reducing his $16.8 million cap number for 2013, Romo's contract was crafted in a way that prevents the Cowboys from applying the franchise tag in 2014. Here's why Romo would become a free agent. He technically has three years left on his current contract, but based on paragraphs 27 and 28 of the, of the contract, the final two years of Romo's contract will be voided with no action necessary from either party if he's on the Cowboys roster by the end of the 2013 league year. And that's a pretty good bet. So if Romo was still on the roster at that time, he becomes a free agent. That's when a team usually would issue the franchise tag, yet all of that occurs after the franchise tag window is closed. So the Cowboys could not use their tag on Romo. Bottom line, if Romo and Jerry Jones don't rework the contract, Romo can leave after this season and there's nothing the Cowboys can do about it. Alex Rodriguez of the Yankees will make more this year than all of the Houston Astros combined, and a lot more. And he won't even play the first half of this season, if at all. A-Rod's $29 million salary tops the major leagues for the 13th consecutive season, according to a study of major league contracts by the Associated Press. Rodriguez's Yankees are on track to have the highest payroll on opening day for the 15th straight year. With teams due to set opening day rosters on Sunday, the Yankees payroll will be nearly 10 times the spending of the Astros, who have shrunk their payroll to about 25 million total. Speaking of salaries, Detroit Tigers ace Justin Verlander agreed today to a $180 million seven-year contract, topping Felix Hernandez for the richest deal for a pitcher in baseball history. The 2011 American League MVP and Cy Young Award winner had been signed through 2014 under an $80 million five-year contract, which would pay him $20 million in each of the next two seasons. Congratulations to Michelle Obach, named today as the Tyler Morning Telegraph and ETFinalScore.com All East Texas Girls Basketball Player of the Year. During her senior year, while guiding the Lady Crusaders to a 30-4 record, Obach averaged 23.9 points per game, shot 58% from the field, and 40% from beyond the three-point arc, where she hit 59 of those three-point shots. We'll see you back here on Monday afternoon.